Hey guys, it's Sam here and Man United have just been beaten 4-0 by Brentford. Yeah, um, as a Liverpool fan, it is hilarious to still see United struggle. But I wanted to put it into a video and sort of give a lot of sort of what people are saying and the problem at the club you can have a go at the owners you can have a go at you know the board and you know the fact that the person that is supposed to be running the transfers is quite clearly not great at his job but ultimately ultimately the biggest thing is the players the players are not trying we saw this under Oli we saw this under Rav Rangnick we're seeing it under Eric Ten Hag no difference they haven't really gotten better over the last three managers from Oli to Rav to Eric there's been very minimal improvements the same problems are still there because the same players are still there but you're adding players into a squad that doesn't work that but does, doesn't work hard doesn't train they might train hard but they don't work hard they don't play hard and they go into that squad and ultimately their performances drop off because the players around them are so bad they literally cannot play I mean The graphic shocked me. In a game of 90 minutes, the Man United players didn't break a distance of 100 kilometers. I think they got 95.4, something like that. Brentford's was at 109 kilometers to Man United's 95. It, it's a shambles that badge is too heavy for the vast majority of those players those players are not good enough because that badge is too heavy it weighs too much on them and they're not cut up for the task I won't name names but I'm pretty sure you can probably guess who the players are it, it's not a club that is any recognizable to anyone's childhood I might be 22 but I remember Man United as a kid would win everything or, like they would at least win the title if they didn't win it you knew that they would come back and probably win it the season after they were there and thereabouts they were very hard to beat you knew what was going to happen you knew how Fergie set them up you knew how they were going to play and they were very hard to beat this United team are so easy because they just let you they don't work hard they don't they don't act like they want to be there and you're going for players 
or you're going for a player, the whole summer who has said he does not want to leave. Franco de Jong has said he does not want to leave Barcelona all summer. He's also said he doesn't want to play for United because he doesn't want to leave. He also wants Champions League football. And he's also said that he would rather play for Chelsea because Chelsea can offer Champions League football. At least those are what the rumours are. They're not directly from his mouth, but those are what that he's apparently saying that obviously sources are leaking. But when you look at the way they're playing, why would he want to join? You know, today there was something that Frankie de Jong told Barcelona's teammates that he might well be joining United. If he has said that, I think he'd reconsider after watching that. Because why on earth would he want to go to a team that is so damaged that it could ruin his career? Christian Eriksen was on a high at Brentford. He's gone there tonight, looked awful, was bullied by his former teammates and was hooked off in like the 83rd minute I think he, he probably should have been hooked off a lot sooner why on earth would you keep playing these players play the kids you've got James Garner there you've got the Argentinian lad play them because they will have heart they will have desire they will do the running and they will fight for that badge the first team players are not doing it, so why would you play them? Ollie stuck with them, Ralph Rangnick stuck with them. Eric has to change it. He has to go. I don't care if you're a first team player. I don't care that you're on 200, 300, 400 grand a week. You're not doing what I'm asking you. You're not putting in the effort. We've got kids here that will. They're going in. They'll be the first teamers and you can play the under 23s. Play in that league because I mean, even in that league they'd struggle because they are playing kids who will fight. They've got Liverpool next next Monday. If we turn up, they will be battered. Eric Ten Hag should play the kids against Liverpool. Because they will not get battered. If they play kids, they would not get battered. They would. It would be a close game. And Man United might actually have a chance of winning. The only chance United's first team have of winning is if we don't turn up. Which can be a possibility because we have a tendency sometimes to not turn up. Like against Fulham. But we don't talk about that. We moved on. <laughs> but yeah. What struck me as well, Ivan Tony interviewed after the game, was, think, said, asked something like, you know, how, how do you beat United or how do you go about like beating United? Simple word, two words, hard work. Just hard work. If you work hard, you beat them. Because you know, for a fact, every one of those players will not work hard. They will not play good because they're awful. Sums them up really, doesn't it? <sighs> I mean... It's embarrassing. You thought losing an aggregate score of 9-0 to Liverpool was embarrassing. You thought last season was embarrassing. What was said was, oh, we can't get worse than last season. Two games into a new season, you lost at home to Brighton and you got battered away to Brentford 4-0. They're bottom. <laughs> they have no points and they are bottom.
I mean, it's two games in, there's 36 games left. They're not going to finish bottom. They're not going to be anywhere near the relegation zone. But this will have a knock-on effect because they can't, they, they can't play. Those players cannot play. They're not, they're not good enough. It's as simple as. However, there are players there that can play, that can work hard. It's just they need to be given that chance. They need to play. And there was something that the fans were threatening to boycott the Liverpool game. After that performance, if they were hesitant, they're most definitely going to do it. Which will have a knock-on effect to the players as well. Because the players will look at that and go, well, the fans are leaving, or the fans haven't turned up. They don't believe, so we're not going to. But you know what? You weren't going to turn up anyway, because you won't do it. We saw it last year, you didn't do it. You're not going to do it this year. The only way you will do it, the only way we'll, they'll look good, is if we make them look good by not turning up. And that cannot happen. Because... Because it's, it, it's United, it's a big game, it's a big rivalry. You've got to turn up. Those players... Will get, I'm sure, one hell of a telling off by Eric Ten Hag. Because they didn't do, he's already said, they didn't do what I asked them to do. Well, if you're not doing what the manager asks you to do, surely you don't play them. Surely you make the changes. He's already said, we need a lot of signings. And he said, we'll try and convince them to come. That's not good either. You've got to convince them. A few years ago, if you, if Man United came calling, you didn't need convincing. You just needed to hear the words, Man United want you. They go, yep, yeah, thanks, yep, yeah, I'm there. Get me on the plane, I'm there. Now... Players need convincing. This club has gone from here all the way down. And it's difficult to get back up. It takes years of getting back up. And this is meant to be the rebuild. This is the Man United rebuild. And already the rebuild's going wrong. You spent 57 million on a centre back who got bullied by a centre back that was relegated last season in Ben Mee for the third goal. Literally, I mean, he didn't even bully him. Martinez literally just fell to the floor. He just got there. And went, nah, he's too tall, I'm done. I'm done, it's too hot, I'm done. He didn't even try. And it looks like yet another quite big money centre back failure. That's not good. You got Maguire and Martinez. 80 mil, 57 mil, or 60 mil, or however much they paid for him centre-back failures I mean it's not looking good and you'd, you'd expect a reaction there has to be a reaction if there's not a reaction next Monday then you best believe the wrath is going to come if it hasn't come already by the manager, by the fans, everything. 
because the fans are focusing on the Glazers, they want them out. At the minute, it's the players. The players don't put the shift in, but obviously you need to spend the money to get them out, but ultimately, just don't play them. Eric, play the kids. Go through a season. This is meant to be the re rebuild. He probably won't be sacked, even if they have a horrible season. It's a project. He probably won't be sacked. Play the kids. Sod the lot of them. And tell them, until you can prove to me that you're ready to fight and die for that shirt, you don't play. Simple as, grow some balls. That's all you need to do, Eric. Grow balls. Tell them, do you know what? If you don't like it, go to a club that's going to accept you're trotting about. Because you'll find it difficult to find one, and it won't be in this country. Because the vast majority of the clubs in this country want your teams to work hard. Look at the majority of the Premier League teams. The managers demand their players work hard and fight for everything. The only club that doesn't do that, surprise, surprise, Man United. It, it has to change. And I don't think it will, because I don't see. In future, he didn't really change for this game. They were awful against Brighton. He didn't really change. How do you have... He made three changes at half-time. Luke Shaw, Martinez and Fred came off. Malassi... Malassia? Is that his name? I think so. I think that's how you pronounce it. Matomini and Varane came on. Why didn't you bring on one of the kids? You bring on three players that, bar the left back, were there last season, that were part of the failings under Ollie and Ralph Rangnick. When you have kids in there that would have put in better shifts in 45 minutes than those players will in the whole season. And that's saying, that's bad. That's very bad. And, pff, I mean, look, hey, at least you don't have Roy Hodgson as manager, Milan Jovanovic up front, and that prat Christian Poulsen in midfield. At least you've got talent. The problem is, the talent aren't putting the work in, and that's what's costing them big time. But yeah, um, another humiliating defeat for United, and it could get a lot worse by next Monday. If he wants to sign, you know, at the minute, the only player that they're close to signing is Rabio. Is he any better than what they have? I don't think so, I think he's worse. There's a reason Juventus are happy to sell him, and there's a reason Juventus are happy to only accept 15 million for him. He ain't good. They were after Marco Anatovic. The club is in the mud, and... I, it, it could be a very long way back. Eric has a monumental job now. If he didn't already, it's gone even harder by the horrible start. The fact that he has to pick them up to face Liverpool having to try and make them run, which they don't do. Try and make them do what he's asked, which 
they've already defied his orders as he said so they didn't do what I've asked them to do so yeah doesn't look good but you know it's only two games into a season long season to go and the window's still open but I don't know how many players you're going to get in and I don't know how many quality players you're going to get in because they are not going to want to come and if they do come it's probably because they were offered a lot of wages not because they are in or any chance of winning trophies it's simply wages but you know there's a there's a long way to go and hey apparently at least it can't get any worse than last season but I'll leave it on it the man that Ten Hag replaced and the man that was supposed to go upstairs which you then decided now sack that off did the double over Brentford last season so peace